Hi, it's KCCK's Culture Crawl. I'm Dennis Green, and my guests today are from the upcoming Rich Heritage Theater of Cedar Rapids production of God Help Us. Dwayne Larson, welcome back, Dwayne. Nice to see you. Thank you, Dennis. And Matt Ford, the uh, founder and uh, impresario. Executive behind. director is the official yeah. title at the theater. I, I, I don't like know what my title for this show is, but that's my real title. Synergy coordinator. <laughs> okay, yeah. evidently that's what it is from now on. <laughs> um, uh, with uh, the play God Help Us, which is coming up, going to be staged at Kennedy, uh, coming up the uh, first weekend in June. And this is, before we start talking specifically about the show itself, it's been a long, strange trip. It has. And, and a sad it has. To, I mean, to, the, to bring this show to the stage. The fact the show was coming to Sea Rapids at all is a long, strange trip. Um, and then we had some, you know, some sadness back in um, back in August of 2021 when Mr. Asner passed away. Um, so but, just to bring everybody up to speed, this show was going to be you were bringing in Ed Asner, correct? To uh, to be in this show with some local actors, and of course, pandemic postponed, and uh, and then. And then Ed passed away. Correct. Yeah. Yeah. It was a show that was specifically written for him that he had been touring with around the United States before um, COVID of 2020. And the, we were, I think we were the second or third production last year in 2021 that Ed was doing. Uh, one had gotten off, I believe, in Montana and one in Rhode Island had been canceled because of COVID. Um, and we were going to be in September. Yes, September and was hard for me to even remember. There's oh, I know. So much know. that has happened. <laughs> yeah. Um, and then, unfortunately, Ed passed away in August. So, uh, so, but he's been replaced by another familiar name that those of us, particularly who are around for the TV in the 70s, will know. <laughs> yes. uh, those of us of a certain age. I'm barely that certain age, but yes. Uh, Gregory Harrison. Yes. Yeah. Uh, from, uh, I, of course, I remember him from Trapper John M.D. He played Gonzo the, Gates. He played the young, brash <laughs> surgeon. And, of course, now, you know, I don't know, maybe still brash, not so young. Uh, like, yeah. all, like all of us. I mean, he, he's, um, he's brash at heart. Yeah, we, we haven't um, actually met him yet no, I on yep. Zoom or otherwise. No. Uh, he gets into town next week. Um, but yeah, he's been working steadily um, since, you know, the early, I think his first uncredited role, according to InternetMovieDatabase.com, <laughs> was in 1973, the year I was born. And then went on to star in TV movies. And then his big break was, of course, Trapper John M.D. Yeah. You and then is he on General Hospital or he's has been? General Hospital. Yeah. He's a recurring role on General Hospital. Okay. He was on uh, One Tree Hill for quite some time, um, you know, for Younger people who watch CW. Um, he he's done a bunch of Lifetime movies and Hallmark movies, that type of thing. So. My wife knows him, of course, from Hallmark movies. Yeah, she loves so. Hallmark movies. Every <laughs> holiday season, we have to get that channel so she can watch, and so she's very excited for Gregory Harrison to come to Cedar Rapids next week. So and, and he's so. done a lot of stage uh, work too. So yeah. So he's stepping into the Ed Asner role, the role uh, of God. Mm -hmm. he, God. And, and then I assume then that he has, has he stepped into the remaining shows of this or uh, so, uh, the tour or whatever the... How it's been explained to me by Liza Asner, the producer, Ed's daughter, is that Ed uh, had a few, not many, a few commitments for the show, uh, the one in Rhode Island that had been postponed due to COVID, hours, and then yet another one. And after Ed passed, they were looking for an actor to fill in. And if I remember, because everything was very fast and furious and i don't remember everything that was discussed gregory was in a made for tv movie in 1977 where he played ed's son and it was about a dying man who was trying to get his mostly fighting family back together for one last christmas and so in talking to ed's friends and people that knew him gregory was one of the people that liza called because he was still a good friend of the family and Gregory agreed to finish out this uh, these shows that Ed had committed to, and we happen to be one of those. And unfortunately, the Rhode Island show that was supposed to take place this weekend in, on Memorial Day weekend has been canceled. So we will be Gregory's premiere okay. in the role of God. Okay. Yeah. So and now we we already know Gregory Harrison playing God. Uh, Dwayne, give me the uh, thumbnail su <laughs> sketch summary of this show. Okay, so God uh, is just fed up with how the world is going and decides maybe I should just end it all and start over. Um, and he brings in myself as Lawrence Workman, who's a far-left pundit, 
and a uh, a woman named Randy Anderson, who's a far right pundit, to debate to give him reasons why he should keep the human race going. And the twist is, they had a relationship. They were their exes from college, but now are diametrically opposed. So it's got the political and the personal in there. But didn't you break up because of your political views? Kind of, well, don't give anything away. Um, but uh, Spoilers. <laughs> spoilers. But basically, so we kind of debate some things and God uh, mocks us endless, endlessly. Um, you know, it's like, oh, he's just fed up with us and all that. When so. it's, it was put to me that he moderates this. He does not moderate. He does not moderate. He does not moderate. I mean, he compares himself to be better than Chris Wallace and Rachel Maddow. No, he mocks both of them yes, relentlessly yes. throughout the show. I don't know if there's much moderating at all. He, he channels his inner insult comic. So he's, you know, he's pictured like Don Rickles in the Catskills back in the 50s. <laughs> That's kind of how God is. Well, <laughs> you've, it. You've, got, you've got one third of your cast coming in just a few days before the show. Yep. Uh, and the director and the producer are not local either because mm-hmm. it's the same team, I assume, that is doing mm-hmm. all of these. Dwayne, tell me how the rehearsal. Tell me how that so, has worked. <laughs> well, so um, we, we, we did a couple uh, read-throughs over Zoom. Um, just to kind of, you know, get used to the script and all that. And then for the past um, uh, week and a half or so, we've been uh, getting together for lo- in person so we can just kind of get physical with it, get on our feet and kind of, you know, it helps to memorize it that way, you know, um, with people filling in for God, like uh, Matt read for God and other people from RHCR have read for God. Um, just the to, only time that I ever get to play God. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> just, just to you know, get the feel of it and everything, because you don't want to go in completely, you know. But we haven't had the director won't be in until next week, so we, um, we haven't gotten direction as far as no, don't do this or do this. So we have to be kind of loose about it and just be ready to you know adapt if he's like no, 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 don't do it that way. And just kind of go with that. How about staging and blocking? Well, for the most part, we're at podiums. There are a couple bits. There's a bit at the end where we're not, and when we first come in, we're not. But for the most part, we're at podiums pretty much the entire time. So we're, I mean, we're still, there's movement and we're reacting to things, but it's not like, oh, you have to go over here at this point and you have to do this at this point. So. So it's not too bad in terms of that. Mm-hmm. So, uh, so it'll mainly probably be, and you know what the director will bring in terms of you know delivery and things like exactly. that. Exactly. Yeah. yeah. If he's like, oh, you know, change your inflection on this, or you know, uh, emphasize this more, that type of thing. So. Well, all of us, of course, have gotten used to doing a lot of stuff over Zoom over yes. these last couple of years. Um, <laughs> Matt shaking his I've head. I've done a million <laughs> of them. It just. <laughs> I know everyone I'm, yeah. is zoomed out, but I yeah. really am. And this yeah. show really, as we started rehearsing when Ed was still playing the part of just Zoom. And then once then the show came back with Gregory and we started rehearsing in person, I hate to say it, but it's a completely different show in it, person. It really does. I mean, doing it over Zoom is one thing and it's like, yeah, it's good to, you know, for doing read throughs, that type of thing. But in person, it just, it comes alive so much more. It's just like, oh yeah, okay. You know, you really get a sense. You know, even without an audience there, you still get a sense of it. So. Hey, I laugh every time at certain you do. parts. He has, yes. <laughs> so, well, and of course, no spoilers, but, no. Uh, but Dwayne, do you have a favorite uh, moment or segment or topic uh, of the show? What's, uh, what's the highlight for you? Topic, everything. Well, they go, they go I mean, through every kind of topic. Um, actually, I think my favorite, one, one of my favorite things about it is the way um, my character, Lawrence, um, kind of sucks up to God a few times <laughs> where he's like, he tries to bring up a point and he's like, oh, thank you, your supremacy. And God's like, oh, I like that. And he's kind of like, oh, yeah, thanks, you know. So, and and Randy is just like, Ugh, you know. <laughs> so so that, I kind of like that. It's, it's a nice little bit where, because God honestly gets most of the jokes because he's mocking us and we're kind of the straight man thing in it. Um, but the those moments and and other ones where we get to get a few laughs too so yeah so i i enjoy that the play is god help us it's going to be at kennedy yes correct correct uh june three through five that is correct yes. there's a friday night show saturday night show and a sunday matinee for those folks who don't want to go out at night 
And people can get tickets on your website, which is? RHCRtheater.com. All right. It's pretty easy, and there's three different tiers. There's student senior, 20, adult, 25, and then there's a VIP ticket, a meet and greet with Gregory Harrison after the show, and preferred seating for 50. Okay. Uh, Well, uh, good luck with uh, putting this all together with everybody in one place for the first time. Yes. uh, Dwayne. And uh, yeah, and uh, and Matt, congratulations on, you know, having, you know, finally managed to bring this in for a landing it's, after working it's been a struggle. on it for so you, long. You can, <laughs> Dennis, you can congratulate me next week when we when, when, when everybody gets to town and we put it all together and it actually opens on Friday uh, the 3rd, then you can congratulate me because it's been a it's been quite the labor of love and it's not been easy. So <laughs> well, I good luck with it. Sounds like a uh, sounds like a delightful show, and uh, it's going to uh, be a hope, lot of fun. Hope everything goes well. Thank you. Thanks again for being with us today. Thanks, Dennis. Thanks, Dennis. You can hear the Culture Crawl live on the radio many weekdays at ten twenty, or download the podcast, watch or listen on your own schedule at kcck.org/slash/culture, or using your favorite podcast app. I'm Dennis Green, and I'll talk to you later.